This week's Mum SOS is my favourite one, mainly because I like looking apparently in people's bags. What's in your hospital bag? Every pregnancy is different and every birth is different, but is every hospital bag different? Let's find out what the Channel Mum vloggers have put in theirs. the third hospital bag that I will have packed and I feel like I've really learnt what you actually need and what you really don't. This is my bag, it's wipe clean which I just think if you're going to be in hospital you kind of want something that you can keep clean and use afterwards. Plus it's not too girly so if Pete has to carry it he's not going to moan about it. I'm 20 weeks pregnant so I haven't packed my hospital bag yet but I do know what I used last time and what I'm definitely going to be packing this time. For me I like to pack brand new pyjamas, slippers, sanitary pads, nipple pads, nursing bras. I think more baby grows and sleep suits than you think that you need. Big knickers. You don't want to be in a thong after you've given birth. And as well, if you've had a C-section, you, you don't want anything tight or restrictive down there. You just want loose and comfortable. And my top tip is to pack yourself a really lovely dressing gown. When you're going to be like in a labour ward, maybe for a night or two, it just makes you feel so much nicer having a nice one. Phone and your phone phone charger, camera and your camera charger. They're not glamorous, they're not exciting, they're just maternity pads. That first shower after having a baby, you will feel like it's the best shower of your life to get the best products that you can. Vaseline for your lips. My lips always get really dry during labour because of the gas and air. A hair ties just to get the hair off your face. Deodorant because let's face it, when you're pushing a baby out of you, you're probably going to get a little bit sweaty. Face wipes. These are brilliant just to cool you down, just to wipe over you and make you feel a little bit more refreshed. I'm never far from my dry shampoo. I think they should just give this out in labour it's the best thing in the entire world and you can just spray and feel a bit nicer. Partners as well can be forgotten quite a lot when you're packing your hospital bag so try not to forget them. Pack them some snacks, some drinks, some change for the car park. That is such a good idea to get that ready and in the bag so they don't even have to think about it. Maybe more change than you'll need because you don't know how long you're going to be there for. Cute little baby clothes. This was Jasper's hat that we brought him home in from hospital so we thought it would be really nice for this little one to wear it as well. Although it looks really big. I hope his head's not going to be that big. The thing I would definitely take is something to eat because when I had the baby the cafe was closed. My second baby they said oh, all we've got to eat is a corned beef sandwich. I'm vegetarian but if we're not a vegetarian nobody in the world wants to eat a corned beef sandwich and I was like hungry I wanted something that felt really nutritious and nourishing. Food, dressing gowns and dry shampoo <laughs> those are my top tips. In the weeks when you're nearly due make sure the car has always got plenty of petrol in it. A swaddle, it's really, really big and I thought I could use it to swaddle him. I can use it for like covering up when I'm feeding, as a muslin, like just to kind of comfort him, anything. There are so many uses for these, but that was a really good one. Your makeup, your favorite little toiletries, because you will want to freshen up and it makes you just feel human again after you've given birth. If you can kind of put yourself back together again, that really helps me. So there you have it. Don't forget your big knickers. I hope you like this week with mum sos as much as i do don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to channel mum so you don't miss a thing